Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over my current household. Um, it is the doll legacy or the doll family. I only have two generations. I have been playing them for a couple months, but I've been playing the lifespan on long just because there's so much I want to do with my first gen. And I also was waiting for the, um, the farm life stuff. What's it called? What's the pack called where the cows came in? The, the, Anyways, I can't remember what it's called. I feel silly, but um, I wanted them to have a farm so badly. I knew we were going to get farms at some point. So during like my little Sims burnout period, I was also kind of like absentmindedly being like, okay, but cottage living, that's what it's called. When cottage living comes out, I want my Sim to be super into it because initially I made her and I really want her to be super into gardening. Um... So she is. She's super into gardening. She's top level of her career. Um, she is super busy on her farm every single morning. We've got um, an alpaca and you can see our cow Bluebell behind Jenna here. Um, I don't know if I actually introduced her. The sim you're looking at right now, she's Jenna Doll. She is the founder of the family. Um, first generation, gorgeous. She's an adult. She is about to age up into an elder. She's very close. Um... But she's super busy all the time. Her and her wife just opened up a flower shop slash cafe um, where she can, like, fully get profit off of her, um, like, ability to <laughs> make flower arrangements. Um, and then, as you can see, we've got, like, a little farm going. As I mentioned before, this is our llama, Alfredo, and one of our chickens, Chief. Um, so we're just chilling. Um, but, yeah. So she is top level of her career in gardening, I believe. I think she just got there. Yeah, she did. Um, and then I have custom aspirations in. So her um, aspiration is to be a freelance botanist, botanist, botanist. Anyways, I can't talk. And because I have custom ones, they just make it a little more interesting. So I have to make sure like these get um, all leveled up for her. Before I show you Amina, which you can kind of see her a little bit there, I'll show you their house. I'm pretty proud of it. I made it myself. I'm not, like, super, like, content with the inside, but they're moving soon anyways, I think. Um, so, this is their house. It's gorgeous. I love the little pond area. This is the first time I've ever worked with ponds, and I really, really like it. They've got some little duckies, and then, obviously, we've got some bunnies because cottage living. And then this is Amina. This is Jenna's wife, the love of her life um she's gorgeous um she is super into video games she is a gamer girl she's the top of her career as an esports gamer she got that really fast and she is kind of i'm kind of debating having her quit and just work full time because i have those customs um i have the custom aspirations I have the custom aspirations, so I kind of want her to um, quit her job and just fully focus on making royalties. She's made a bunch of video games. I don't think it'll actually be in here because I haven't been playing with them recently because I've been playing with um, their kid, uh, which you'll see in a little bit, um, but I want to go over them first. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking of having her quit her career so that she can fully get this and she's not like still working on her first aspiration as she's an elder because she is also about to age up into an elder. Um, They're both adults. Like I said before, I kind of made the age span a little weird <laughs> just because um I wanted to have it like I wanted to take my time with playing them because I was having so much fun with Jenna and Mina's story and I didn't want to rush um, their kids like childhood. Jenna's not feeling too but good, but I'm going to I'm just going to like get rid of that. Um, but yeah, so um, this is their house. It's not as good as I want it to be, but I did make it myself. You can see some pictures. This is their daughter, George, um, when she was a toddler and then they're on their honeymoon. And I'm going to put up screenshots that I have. Um, this is Jenna with her brother, Elias. Um, I call him Eli for short. Them on um, Halloween. Another picture of George as a toddler. Um, this is a picture of Jenna and Amina when they first met. Um, 
Yeah, there's lots of like little like country living kind of feelings because Jenna is definitely much more down to earth, whereas Amina is obviously super techie. In their old house, um, Amina did have her own office because she was a streamer, but I kind of decided that she would kind of make, I don't want to say like the sacrifice, but she just like decided that she could do like development instead of streaming because the fame was kind of getting a lot and she just wanted a break. So moving to Hanford on Bagley, it didn't seem like that bad of an idea. Um, oh my god, this is my favorite picture ever. George was Yoda for Halloween. Um, this is George's bedroom now that she's a little more grown up. Uh, it was the exact same thing when she was a teenager, but, um, because she got a boyfriend, I kind of wanted her to be able to have him, like, sleep over. This is her room, and then this is Jenna and Amina's room. Um, this is where Jenna, um, not Jenna, this is where Amina does most of her work. And then just like their private little bathroom to have baths and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, and then I'll go over the family tree a little bit with you now that I've introduced you to my main girl, Jenna. So um, in the family tree, I um, haven't made their parents. I don't plan on making their parents, but um we've got Jenna our main girl and then we've also got her brother Elias or Eli um like I said I call him for short um his wife Adelaide and then they have two kids Emmett and Sydney I didn't I don't play with them I didn't make them have kids they just ended up having twins on their own which I think is really fun um and so obviously we get to see a little bit of them like I said I don't play with them though so um we're just we're taking that as it comes uh, i really do like having more family though because it kind of feels like i started the game in a generation um and then i mean it doesn't have any siblings but amina and jenna obviously are married and they had their little girl george um they did adopt george i don't have any like mods or i didn't tweak any settings to make so that they could have like a biological child um George is just the perfect little angel baby that um, they adopted. And so I'm going to actually head on over to George real quick. So um, I'll see y'all over there. All right. So now we're here with George. She is super cute. She's their baby. Um, she is. Oh, my God. She's so stunning. I love her so much. I just gave her a little makeover. Um, you'll obviously see pictures of what she's like looked like throughout her life, even from toddlerhood. I get to go down memory lane. Um, she's super cute. So this is where she lives with her boyfriend right now. We'll get to him in a second, but I just want to go over her. She is doing the Strangerville mystery right now. I've played it before, but we're about halfway through. She's just unlocked the like key card. Um, so her um her lifetime wish is to defeat the source of the infection. I kind of wanted her to do this because they, um, Amina and Jenna's first house and then, like, when they adopted George was in Strangerville. And I was kind of, like, having a Nancy Drew moment, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, I was like, you know what? When George grows up, I'm gonna want her to come back to Strangerville and defeat the mystery. Because I think it'd be super cool to have her as a, um detective and to do that and if you also know your nancy drew and you know where i got the name george from i love you please just like simp about anything nancy drew in the comments please um the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't kind of a thing um but yeah so that's basically all we've got for george um and she is kind of entering the later stages of her young adulthood. So I want her to like kind of start having babies soon because like I said um, a little bit before, like I'm going to make Jenna and Amina a new house and I want them to have like spare bedrooms for the grandkids to stay over and so that they can like basically have their grandbabies over all the time and be like the grandparents that I know they really want to be. I'm really excited for that. And then this is the man, the man with the plan. This is Jamie. I think he's pretty handsome. He's very different from the male sins I usually make, I feel. Um, just in, like, how I made him. I think he's um, super attractive. Look, I just looked him up and down. Um, I think he's super attractive. He is um, 
his aspiration is to have a big happy family he wants to have six grandchildren he doesn't have any siblings of his own so i think he's really invested on making that family for himself because the only family he's ever really had is george um he did meet george at university george um like i said she's in the detective career um i thought that'd be something really fun to do and um she went to uni for psychology so she started her detective career at level seven and they kind of met there he didn't attend uni um in my mind he was like moonlighting at a bar like doing a gig at a bar and he um ran into her there's a little bit of tea there george was actually dating someone else like her little high school sweetheart she was dating um raul from um enford on bagley um this is like the teenager that comes um and like is the grocery deliverer so he um kind of hit it off with george when they were teens and then there's like a little bit of a glitch with the grocery delivery people where you can't actually go to like other lots and have dates with them so i kind of played off that and i kind of was like he never took her on dates like she didn't really know what it was like to be in like a normal relationship because he just didn't seem to try at all no fault of his own just like he was a young boy um but then she met jamie who was very very interested in her from day one like asked her on dates all the time like he made her feel like her whole entire world was spinning and i just really like that storyline so she did kind of do like a not great thing and she did kind of cheat on Raul but um ultimately like immediately after they had their first kiss George went to Hemford on Bagley and broke it off with Raul and then she ran back home to Jamie and made it official with him and now they're living here together um Jamie I didn't really I got a little sidetracked because I love their story so much but um he is a musician he's level six when we first met him he actually wasn't a very high level at all he was only level one he was like just new to the career so i kind of took that ran with it um i think he's really cute i'm really excited i kind of i'm not gonna lie the only reason i did that was so that i could hear him sing um because i'd never really played with the men um in singing so we're gonna hear him sing okay he's a little broken but beautiful thank you jamie i'm pretty sure he's only like level six too yeah i think that's it for the video um please remember to like and subscribe if you like me and if you want to keep up with me and see more content i really do appreciate it um I'm going to try and maybe do two videos a week. It just really depends on my school schedule and like what the deal is there because um, everything's a little up in the air. But hopefully you'll see more. If you guys want to see me playing a little bit more with um, George, I would honestly love to film that kind of stuff with you guys um, because it is something I'm super interested in. And I'm not entirely sure what kind of Sims series I want to do at the moment. Or if you guys have any suggestions for a Sims series, let me know as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, though. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I'm excited to see you in the next one. And I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up.